is based out of Mexico. Is that right? Yes. Yes. International. I know. So. Okay. Cool. Looks like Gorilla Glass has prepared a little video for us. So we're going to go ahead and see that real quick and then we'll bring them on. All right, we are live with Gorilla Glass. Hey, Gorilla Hi. Glass. Hi, Gorilla Glass. Hi, Gorilla Glass. Hello. Oh, uh, man. So you are in, what part of Mexico are you in? I'm in the deep south. I'm in Oaxaca. It's uh, one of the, the most traditional parts of, of Mexico. We're about six hours south of Mexico City. Beautiful. So, so tell us a little bit about your company. How long have you been uh, making glass? I've been making glass since the uh, early 90s. Uh, I, I started in Santa Barbara when I was in uh, City College in Santa Barbara in California. Um, and then uh, I started making piercing jewelry, probably starting in around 95. And I had a couple of different companies before Gorilla Glass was started. Uh, Gorilla Glass was actually started in 2002 when I uh, moved to Mexico City and moved to Mexico full time. So uh, it's been a it's been a long journey. Uh, I was looking at some of my old designs from the 90s and it was uh, making me crack up. They're so primitive. <laughs> so you got to start somewhere. So you sure do. Yeah, uh, I was very lucky. I got to to work many years at a, at a really renowned uh, glass school up in. In Washington State, it's called Pilchuck Glass School. So that's where I was introduced to a lot of teachers. They bring international teachers from around the world. I was exposed to a lot of the Italian masters, uh, Swedish masters, and some of the top artists in the US. Wow. So that was really a, a, a formative part of my life there at the, at the glass school. And uh, I, I was honored to be invited to teach there a couple of years ago. So I taught an intensive glass course so it was kind of really nice to go full circle and, and be able to give back a little bit where well, that gave me so much. That's amazing. I see you have a lot of beautiful pieces behind you right now, but what, what kind of stuff do you, are you looking forward to showing us today? Uh, I'm going to focus on the piercing jewelry. Uh, I do do other glass projects as well. Uh, recently, maybe two years ago, I started a glass studio, which is uh, glass blowing. There's a, 
when you talk about glass making, there's so many different disciplines that are involved. The one that usually you think of with piercing jewelry is flame working, which is working glass on a, on a torch for doing miniature stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Aquarella glass, we also do fuse glass, uh, lapidary shop, and we also have now a blowing shop, which was really exciting for me, trying to be more environmental. So the, the blowing shop is a way to remelt all of our waste glass and then turn it into jewelry. Um, and some, some of the pieces you see behind us are blown glass pieces that we, we don't really do as a commercial enterprise. It's more just for fun. That's good. You have to have that creative outlet, you know, to have fun at work as well. And uh, so what I'm going to focus to show you guys today is some of the collections that have been coming out this year. Uh, usually every year I, ch I choose a, a general theme and then I've been releasing collections every, there's not a set date, but around every two months I, I release a new group of jewelry. Um, this, this year, the main theme in, in 2020 has been the ocean. So I'm going to show you three, uh, three collections that were part of a triad called Neptune. And then I'm going to give you a preview of the most recent collection that came out that's, uh, called, that's entitled Venus. Uh, and then I'll probably show you some, some other previews of stuff that's coming out. We're doing a special Christmas collection. And I have another collaboration I'm doing for uh, something brand new for, for, for uh, January uh, with a functional glass artist. It's, it's a, I love to collaborate with other artists. So I bring a lot of my friends and... Uh, other people have been teachers for me down and work with them to kind of inform my designs with, with new techniques and ideas too. That's so awesome. we're gonna, we'll be, and then I'm really, really excited to show you a new system that I have for hanging uh, glass shapes. It's called the Gorilla Grip. It's a system of interlocking glass pieces so you can wear the weight without the worry that it's gonna fall out of your ear. So it's uh, been working on it for quite a while and, and we just, brought it onto the market, I think last week. So you're gonna to get wow. to see how it works too. That sounds, I, I can't even imagine in my mind what that is, so, or how <laughs> that works. So I'm really excited to see about that. Yeah, let's dig in, I'm excited. Yeah. All right, well, uh, if you can sh show the Mar video and then we'll start with the Mar collection. Well, you saw a short video there on the Mar collection. Uh, all of these three collections are part of the Neptune is the general theme. Uh, it has a lot to do with, with the, obviously with the ocean. Uh, the Mar collection in particular is uh, referring to the sunset on the beach, light reflected off the, off the water, uh, uh, coral and plankton and these kind of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you some samples. Here it is, a Mara collection. There's three different colors available. They're all dichroic, which gives that really shimmery feel to it. Uh, we have crescent weights here. We have plugs, septums, which are always very popular. And then we have some hanging shapes, which reminds me a lot of the earlier stuff. Uh, I remember when we yeah. used to sell the spirals back in the day. And, and these shapes have been selling really well. I've been pleased. There's a lot of people with smaller, uh, smaller piercings who want to wear something a little bit bigger and showier. So I think those are really good. We have other parts of the product line. You really have to check the website to see all the different products and colors we have available. These are the three main colors that we have. Um, and like I said, the, the Mar collection is inspired by the ocean, the reflection of sunlight on the, on the water, uh, crashing waves. These three collections we were working on right before uh, the, the pandemic started. Uh, so our last trip and when we did all the videos was actually right before 
everything shut down. <laughs> so it makes me feel a little bit nostalgic seeing the videos and stuff, but this is a Mar collection. Uh, do you guys have any questions? The septums are very popular right now. These collections are only available around for around six months at a time, and then they move out of rotation and then they're not available again. So it's that same idea of kind of uh, exclusivity. Mm -hmm. And as well, they're only available to brick and mortar shops. So we really wanted to give a chance that you didn't have customers who come in and do price uh, window shopping and price matching on their phones. So this is really a, an effort to make something really fresh and unique for the for all the piercing and the piercing shops who are, you know, the backbone of our of our industry. I have a quick question. Um, what sizes do those septum pinchers come in? The septum start at, uh, I believe, at eight gauge, and then they can go to half inch. Uh, yeah. What's the, what's the minimum wear size on you or gauge for your hangers? For the hangers, the minimum size? Yeah, minimum. You you make them in anything. Uh, that's a good question. I think four gauge is, as well as the smallest size. I may be wrong. It may be start at six gauge. I'm finding okay. out that a lot of my clients that have stretched loaves don't realize that they don't have to like wear the same size gauge. If it's a hanger, they can wear something smaller. And they're, yeah. they're uh, we've, we've actually like a lot of our hanging stuff, as far as like weights are concerned, have just pretty much disappeared after explaining that to them. It's like I opened their eyes to a whole new piece of jewelry that's obviously been around for a long time. Totally. Yeah, uh, and um, I'll be excited to show you the Gorilla Grip system because it really makes I'm ready. it safer for people to wear weights as well. So, awesome. um, you guys have any other questions about the Mar collection? I really like the colors. I do. Too. Yeah, and I like how you've you've combined them into different looks as well, and the fact that you can get that matching septum piece with the matching plugs or the hanging earrings, and I feel like it really completes the look, which a lot of clients are flocking towards that more nowadays you know when we've decided to kind of class things up and make it more fashionable to be pierced so i really like that uh, attention to detail yeah i love that you can get the whole outfit for sure a lot of times when i have a client come in they're wanting they're wanting me to outfit them and take away like their their decision making having me do that for them and having something that kind of all works together and making a whole set of different things they can wear at different times, it makes it a lot easier for myself, but also uh, definitely expands the client and uh, jewelry selection. The, the idea with these is that I really feel like we're trying to tell a story instead of just making jewelry. Oh, we're making this new septum piece. It's actually more trying to uh, involve people's imagination, you know, and make it, make them realize that the jewelry is part of our identity at Mark's periods of time in our life. So by having them being rotating collections as well, it kind of gives that feeling um, of, you know, this is part of their story as well as this kind of universal story that the collection is telling. And it's yeah. cool to come up with that too. What's next? What's next? Uh, next, we're going to go to the Atlantis uh, collection, very much inspired by seaweed and uh, under the surface of the, of the water. The mar was more on the surface. Now we're going to dive deep and go into the bottom of the ocean. So if you can play the Atlantis uh, clip, then we'll go, I'll show you some samples from that. All right, that's the, uh, the Atlantis collection, really inspired by seaweed. The names of these pieces are plankton, kelp, uh, everything inspired by, by the water, under the water. I'm gonna give you a little preview of the pieces here. Here's the uh, Atlantis collection. Uh, these again have a range of 
we, we do finger rings as well. These are the plugs. It's kind of a vortex uh, feeling and you get sucked into it because it draws you down into the piece. Uh, this, this collection also has three different color combinations. There's kind of a, a lighter blue, this uh, greenish color, and then a real algae one. These are called seahorses. It was a unique shape. I was been making marbles for a long time. So this is kind of a marble wrapped around with a glass piece. It's very fluid and they're very wearable. Um, and they're, it's a little bit of a mini world into itself when you look into the piece. The fact that it has such a big concave on the front really magnifies the depth of the piece on them. These are made out of borosilicate glass. Uh, the seahorses have been very popular. And then we've also done these more rays. These are for bigger pieces. These are for people who are looking for a real showpiece. Those and again, with, uh, with people who have a small uh, lobe, so that, that's practical. And we also came up with this idea of wearing the silicone O-ring to kind of help keep the piece on your ear when you're wearing it. So that, that that's a little detail there. Yeah. That's so, really, really so smart. smart. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so again, this is the Atlantis collection. There's more pieces we have. Uh, as far as combining accessories, we also do regular niobium earrings. We have finger rings as well as hair ties or like a pony tie for people to tie back their hair. I agree there's a lot of people who are kind of looking to match their look. I think it's really fascinating to see how many people are combining their masks with their, with their ear mm -hmm. and their jewelry. It's been really a fun uh thing to watch so that's a neptune collection they were staggered so i think neptune came out in june march mar came out in march which is appropriate um these were kind of my build up for, for before vegas i was going to roll these all out of vegas and then since app was canceled we've just been staggering them throughout the year um, this this collection of Atlantic, we use a technique called uh, frit. It's crushed glass that we pick up while it's hot, and it gives a feeling almost like air bubbles within the glass. But it's not glass. It's not air bubbles. They're actually uh, crushed glass that's been fused into the the surface. Uh, I don't know. You guys have any questions about Atlantis? I just love those giant ones. Uh, it, it, they look so cool down at the bottom in that big spiral with all the a little detail going on in the bottom of them it's really cool thank you yeah, yeah they're real, real Those are uh, awesome pieces. It, this is something i wouldn't have done a, a year ago and i think it's important and people are so focused on gold and ends now i think it's important that piercers remember that there's a really big wide range of tastes out there mm -hmm. and so these are coming back and and piercing is is a cyclical process i've noticed a lot of people are stretching their ears now uh, I remember hearing a lot of people saying, oh, your big earplugs are dead and those are gone or these kind of shapes are gone. And I say from what I've seen, from what people are ordering and from the uh, social media, none of these things are dead. These are all very alive and active and there's definitely people who want it. Um, but it's a matter of being able to connect with those people, I guess. So mm -hmm. I love all the gold and stuff. Don't get me wrong, but I think there's a it's a big world and there's a lot of room for this jewelry as well. Oh, yes. Can we talk a little bit about the weight of some of these pieces? Um, you know, I know that glass tends to be either lightweight or heavier with some of these designs. So what are we kind of looking at? Uh, in general, glass is a pretty uh, lightweight material. We list all of the weight in grams on our website. So you can actually go and see the individual hanging styles and see the number of weight on it. None of these styles would be heavy to wear. You could wear any of these for a long period of time. Uh, we do have some weights that are very heavy and I wouldn't recommend people to wear them for a long period of time, but these are all uh, relatively uh, lightweight. Um, I would have to check with the, the website to see the actual uh, sure. physical number, but, but that's available um, to everybody at getgorilla.com and you can look at as all the specs of the, of the jewelry and the weight as well. Awesome. Thanks for putting uh, that info out there. <laughs> so which I, I found that people in the general public want to be more informed. So it's really important to have all those those little details for people. Mm -hmm. Did do you want to plug your website again real quick? It was get getgorilla.com, right? 
Yeah, it's getgorilla.com. And that's where you can see the new collections when they come out. They're constantly rotating. Um, the big weights weigh about 2.6 ounces. So that's I guess that is all. a little bit. I don't have anything to compare it to, but I imagine a metal weight would be much, much heavier. Probably. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, what's next? Yeah, what's next? The next is the Triton collection. This is a third part of the Neptune uh, collection. This is really inspired by the legends of Poseidon. Uh, there's influence of the whole mythology of the fishermen, uh, again, the deep sea, and this is, if the first one was about the ocean surface and the second one, Atlantis was about being under the water. This one is kind of a combination between the two and the idea of the kind of a warrior fisherman. It's a very strong uh, look and uh, I think you'll enjoy it if you can play the video. Brian's got jokes. Anyways. <laughs> All right, I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you the, some of the Triton pieces inspired by fish hooks. Uh, these are similar to the Moray ones that you saw in the last collection, but they're either made on a torch out of borosilicate gla glass, and then they're ground down uh, using diamond wheels to do all the detailed carving on them. That, these those are really awesome. big pieces as well. There's a smaller version, which these are also kind of hooks. These have a really beautiful iridescent reflection that this particular glass uh, is called a reduction when it does that as a technical term. It's a kind of a mirrorized, marbleized surface on them. And then for the people who don't have stretched ears, uh, we also do the niobium, niobium hooks. Um, so you can, it's kind of a whole set of different pieces. And this is a kind of the evolution of the Atlantis collection for the, for the Triton. So <clears throat> that, that wraps it up for Neptune right there. Love it. Do you guys have any, any questions about this one before we go on? I really like the spines on the curve of the, the bigger pieces. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And I love that you have the smaller size jewelry too for our clients who may not have big stretched ears. That's awesome. What do you have next? Uh, next, I want to talk about the, the Venus collection. This is the one that was just released. Uh, this collection was really important to me for a number of, number of reasons. Uh, one, because it's uh, using the upcycle glass, which is a process of using, uh, reheating our waste and then pulling out glass rods. It's using a, what's called a Marini technique. It's a very ancient technique that goes back to pre-Egyptian times. And then the Italians uh, per, uh, perfected it. Uh, and then we're still using it today. It combines a uh, fusing glass, then reheating it in an oven and stretching it out in the blowing glass shop. And it uh, provides really uh, amazing detailed working. Uh, so one of the reasons I really like this collection is because precisely because of the, the upcycling. The other reason I, uh, I really enjoy it is from the, from the photo shoot that we just did which it was, it was fun watching Tawapa because I saw in their video, they had La Negra from Argentina. She's a close friend and performance artist. And uh, La, La Negra took over the, the photo shoot for us. And it's the first photo shoot that features a trans model as part of the, the collection. I don't know if you, do you have the, the photos from the photo shoot? Uh, so La Negra was instrumental for, for helping do this. 
Neptune was a very masculine collection, but I wanted it to not be gender specific. So it was kind of any gender who wants to explore this kind of feeling of the, the, the fisherman and the warrior. And with the Venus collection, which is very much inspired by the whole myth of, of Venus and Aphrodite being born out of the, the sea waves is a feminine collection, but we wanted to use a, you know, a trans model to represent this kind of feeling of strength through beauty and the idea of protection as well, and particularly the importance of protecting ourselves in a time when we're bombarded by so much stress and information. So it's kind of a return to the idea of, of beauty as protection and the importance of, of self-care. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some, some of the pieces from this. These are part of the Gorilla Grip system, which I'll show you in a minute. They're hanging pieces, but they're formed by interlocking pieces that come together so that they can't come out of your ear. So there's a series of unique uh, weights that are available on the site. Each piece is completely different. And this is a Gorilla Grip itself. I'll give you a little demo of this after we're done with this part of the, showing you the basic pieces. These also come as plugs. Here are some of the plugs. Again, they're unique pairs. You can see them photographed on the website. And then these are, we also have finger rings. These are finger rings if people want to do their sets. And we also have regular ear rings with niobium hooks. These are made out of borosilicate glass. The other ones are upcycled soda lime glass. There are two different glass types we're using in these. And again, uh, inspired by seashells and the idea of protection through beauty. Um, and then we had, this is Deb. I don't know if you have the photographs from the photo shoot. Yeah, we saw those. Oh, you saw them already. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a Venus collection and those are available now. They're, they're collector's items. So, you know, it's get them while you can. Uh, do you guys have any questions about, about the Venus collection? No, I love it though. I'm really excited to see this, uh, this little contraption you have here. If you want it, I'll give you a demo of it right now. Yes, please. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's go over on this side. Uh, this is my personal pair. So I'm gonna put them on without a glove. This is a U-shaped uh, piece that we're gonna put through the ear. It has a hole in it. And then the cool thing about this is you can interchange the hanging part. It just has a hole through it. So you can buy them separately. You can get the Gorilla Grip and then you can develop a collection of the hanging pieces. And so the hole lines up in the U shape and then we have a glass pin that goes through it. And then that I put a small O-ring on the end. And you have that hanging piece. That's and the cool thing about this is that you can dance with it, you can shake them around. It's not coming out of your ear. No more depth to your glass pieces. Yeah, so that, that's the uh, that's a Gorilla Grip uh, concept, and and it'll we're, it's a it's a brand new concept. It's still being developed. I have another series called the Gorilla Link that will allow you to build a chains of glass chains that can hang down, and you can combine colors, change the axis of how you wear the the jewelry, how it hangs off of your ear, and like I said, you can buy them separately, so you can develop a collection of just the hanging pieces, and then combine or change up what color of the link that you want. So they're, they're available in, in more than 10 different colors and brand new on the market right now. And very soon we'll be releasing the, the Gorilla Link, which will actually allow you to build up chains. Um, Jason, on the pin that goes through the Gorilla Grip on the back end, does it have a groove for the O-ring or the O-ring just slides right onto the piece? No, it has a groove. We don't want those O-rings slipping off of there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it has a groove.
They're very secure. They've been tested. I've been working on this system for almost two years now. So it's been kind of my, my secret weapon. I love it. I, yeah. You definitely, I think you, you win the innovator award of yeah. vendor splendor 2020. I think that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We have another version that we're also going to be releasing shortly, probably next week is for smaller piercings. These ones, you have to have at least a half inch to be able to wear the jewelry. Uh, but we have another system. They're going to be called gorilla hoops. And they're instead of a glass pin, it uses a, a, a steel pin with threads. And it's a, basically the same concept, but you can start as small as a uh, four gauge for wearing a similar system. But look, keep an eye out, that should be released by next week. Excellent. Awesome. And where can people find you at online? Besides uh, getgorilla.com. Getgorilla.com, we're also on Instagram uh, and at, at Gorilla Glass. Um, and then there's Facebook as well. So hardly anyone uses Facebook anymore, but we're still there. Um, yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on, Jason. Thanks for taking time out of your day to show us things. I really, really appreciate it. And your new collection is absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Brian. Thank yeah. all of you guys for organizing this. It was really great. I appreciate it. Awesome. We'll talk to thank you soon. Thank you for thank being you. here. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.